And a look behind the curtain here. Final preparations for the challenge ahead. Hoping to come out of the gates strong. The tallest building in the United States, One World Trade Center. Looking glorious tonight as we come to you from New York. It's an NBA afternoon game here on this Thursday. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge is joining us from the sidelines. Now about we check the numbers for Russell Westbrook. And he's not passing the ball as well this month. If you look at his numbers from earlier in the season, he's not seeing the court as well. It may be a little too... And with tip-off coming up, we've got just enough time to hear from our good friend David Aldridge on the sideline. D.A., take it away. Hey, Kevin. The Knicks have young talent and some promising draft picks. For that reason, they feel they're well-positioned to trade for a star if one becomes available. The Knicks front office member described that as the best path for them. Guys, in the Big Apple, there is little patience for a long rebuild. A little patience indeed. That's interesting. Thank you, David. And above the rim play, always captivating Steve. We should see a lot of that tonight. Hey, Kevin, I'm so excited. You know I played under the rim, so to get a chance to watch guys play well above, I am getting my popcorn ready. So the opening lineup for the Heat, Adebayo is out there with Jimmy Butler. Then there's Russell Westbrook. Then it's DeRozan, and it's Hero in the shooting guard. And for New York, filling out the wings are Bullock and Barrett. Taj Gibson is out there with Randall, and it's Rose in at the one spot. Misses the three. And it's Adebayo with the ball for the Heat. And there's the foul. Goes on Taj Gibson. That's his first foul. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. Here's Westbrook. Nice spin off the left rim and in. And Westbrook is a terror from the mid-range. Terrific at sticking it to the defense from that spot on the floor. Rose surveying the D. Westbrook pulls it in. Here's Hero. He's guarded by Bullock. Hero passes to Butler. Makes it off the glass. Continues to develop as a playmaker. It's nice to see Tyler Hero create for others. We're about one minute into the first. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need to bask. Up top, Bullock. He's covered by Westbrook. And the wide open shot from Rose. Rose can't get that one to fall. Early on, three misses to open the game. Their offense right now still trying to find its way. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. Take a look at the Mavericks. They're still dominant, sitting at number one once again. And, and you know, for the Heat, they're exactly the team we all thought they'd be. A, a dangerous club, no doubt. They're not the title favorites, but it's not outside the realm that this team can get it done. Five to shoot. Ties it from 19. It's hauled in by Hero. Westbrook with it. Picked up by Barrett. And out of bio, throws it down. Ferocious finish. Bam's natural strength is next level. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Barrett against DeRozan. And Barrett gets it to go. And boy, did they need that one. Their first make in the five field goal attempts they've had. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. And Adebayo with the basket on the assist by Westbrook. Adebayo's got his second bucket tonight. And early on, they look great. They've made all four of their shots to start this game. Knicks trail by six. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played. 
And they will get the basket here, folks, as they rule goaltending. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. Robinson's checked in for the Knicks. Burks comes in for Reggie Bullock. Not a problem when that's your first miss of the game. Strong start. And Tyler Hero gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. So both teams changing it up here. Pass to Barrett. Now Burks. Back to Barrett. Just five on the clock. Handle down low. He's coming off a 28-point game against Minnesota. And it wasn't just the scorn. He also impacted the game on the glass. Terrific all-around effort. Here's DeRozan. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Robinson up top. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Passes to Barrett. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. And you like the toughness there. Barrett being more comfortable having to deal with an aggressive defense. Adebayo against Robinson. Back to DeRozan. From beyond the arc, score the basket. His second of two attempts. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. To the paint. Here's Burks. A putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. This is one of the things you love about Randall. Relentless on the offensive glass. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And now you're on the three-point shooting and then protecting the rim. Consequently, pull-up jump shooters are super valuable. And there are a lot of good ones in the NBA right now. No doubt about it. And, and Kevin, you know, you think about a few guys. James Harden, I mean, he shoots that step back three, but he's a guy that, because of his ability uh, to utilize your inability to defend that three-pointer, uh, Kyrie, Dame Lillard, those are some guys. Chris Paul still as good as anybody in that mid-range area. C.J. McCollum. These are guys that have really feasted and, and carved out a nice niche for themselves in the NBA because of that ability to take and make jump shots. And I love that list. You're right on. Quickly defended by none. Has to bear it. He sends it right off the glass. Now the pass to Autobio. He hits Robinson, top of the key. The Knicks pull it in. The Heat beat them last time when these two teams met down in South Florida. Yeah, in this game, they'll want to approach things a little differently, I think. Got blown out last time due to being a little too aggressive on the defensive side. A really embarrassing loss indeed, and one that they will hopefully learn from. Got to keep your hands to yourself sometimes, or it could cost you the game. For the three, they get it again. Achua and an overpowering first quarter effort. Already a double-digit advantage. Heat lead by 10. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. On the defensive end in that first quarter, they were just getting up into people. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. We've got Rose. Alec Burks is out there with Toppin. And there's Nerland's Noel. And it's Bullock in at the two guard spot. That's the five for New York right now. Nailed from three point land. Pretty good with the ball in his hands off the dribble. But now you're seeing the other facet of his game the catch and shoot jump shot. And so it's Rose who brings the ball up for the Knicks. 15 point game coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. When they ran the 
offense right. They found some easy shots, but on that occasion, it was few and far between. You know, they take one step forward, two steps back, and exercise in frustration. Like how confident Westbrook is close to the rim. Gets high off the ground and releases his shot quickly. We play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Now, here's Bullock, defended by none. Nothing that time. He's uh, 0 for 2. Pass to Achua. Shoots over Bullock, and good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Knicks trail by 17. Noel up top. Passes it to Burks. The dish to Rose. Now, here's Toppin. Tight defense on him. Clock is at three over Westbrook. Toppin, good. Toppin's got his first bucket in this one. Timeout called the Heat. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy yeah, looks. Good looks. You know what it is. That's good advanced scouting. They knew what they were in for, and they were ready. Taj Gibson's checked in for New York. The Heat also changing it up. Tamar DeRozan, he's checked in for Green. And it's Tyler Hero in for Kendrick Nunn. And here's Rose. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Minnesota. Pass to Burks. Here's Gibson. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. The hard working mentality of Todd. She's so clever at finishing through the hit. Butler at the elbow. Shoots over Burks. It's Butler that time on the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got four assists now tonight. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. Rose against Westbrook. Hero passes to Butler to the inside. The kick out to Westbrook. Here's Hero. He picked up 15 points in their last win against the Pistons in Detroit. Outside DeRozan. Second shot opportunity. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Greg is a young player. One of your mentors was Patrick Ewing. How valuable was that to have that kind of guy uh, tutoring you, mentoring you as you were just getting in the NBA? I tell you, he was the consummate professional and, and really an incredible leader by example. This guy spent infinite amount of hours in the gym in the offseason honing his craft. First on the floor, last to leave it throughout his professional career. And that's something he had in common with all the truly great who ever played the game. And a hey, physical presence is former Kentucky Wildcat Julius Randle. But, but he's got some mobility to go along with it, able to move and attack in transition. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Bam Adebayo is checked in for Achua. Robinson is subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Outside Butler. Back to DeRozan. Over Randall. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. DeRozan's got four points now in the quarter. You know, people have uh, talked about Julius Randle's game. He's a power driver, isn't he, Greg? I mean, the guy just bulldozes all the way in. I, I like that phrase, Kev. You know, very fluid for his size. A pretty good ball handler and passer. I think his shooting is where he's still filling in the gaps. The Knicks shooting their third free throw shot of the game. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. 
down low. Here's Robinson, and Robinson throws it down hard. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. Inside, here's Autobio. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Eight points for Bam Autobio. And so it's Rose who brings the ball up for the Knicks. They trail by 16. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. That'll be the last of three straight at home for the team. Randall no good. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Here's Butler. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. Wow, the strength of Jimmy Butler fends off defenders well when he goes up to score. Quickly, guarded by Robinson. Robinson finds Rose. Kept alive. Here's Robinson, and they convert at last on a tip number three. At the end of the day, when the ball goes up, there's no substitute for effort. Outside DeRozan. And the pass to Autobio. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. And Barrett with the basket on the assist by Rose. Six points for R.J. Barrett. Outside DeRozan. Dishes it to Butler. Over Barrett. Shots good from Butler. Butler's got 11 points. Jimmy Butler, great feel for the mid-range game. And it's where his jumper's most accurate. So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. Heat out front, up by 16. We'll get right back to the action when we return. With authority. Knicks trail by 18. Bullock with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Rose gets the bucket. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Now here's Rose. He's got six. Lays it up off the glass. He's got eight. Very aggressive, Derrick Rose. So efficient on how he attacks the hoop. Westbrook against Rose. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Craig, you were a physical, defensive-minded player. What are your thoughts on how closely the game is called now as opposed to when you play? It is, Kevin. And, and yeah, some people like the physicality of the year I played in, but... You know, I like the beauty of the game with the spacing and the freedom of movement, and I think that's one reason why you see so much switching. It's hard to fight through screens without fouling, and ball handlers have become experts at drawing contact, even if it's, you know, incidental. And I think that's just an area where the game has changed so much that that ability to play in space is so vital. Here's Westbrook, and it goes down two points. Westbrook's got eight points in the quarter. Terrific game plan coming out of halftime. A perfect three for three from the field. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Rose against Westbrook unloads from 13. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Adebayo. Noel's checked in for the Knicks. Burks comes in for Derrick Rose. And then for Miami, Achua comes in for Butler. And it's Green in for DeMar DeRozan. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's his first foul. Pass to Burks. Quickly, defended by none. For three, Barrett. But they get it back. 
And, and with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. They have leaned on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Knicks trail by 20. Quickly defended by none. Miami's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Here's Autobio. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Green against Barrett. And Adebayo sends it back. With a strong sense of timing and awareness, Bam sent that shot away. Westbrook against Barrett. And Westbrook. Ooh. Love it, love it. It's impressive. The level of domination at both ends, and you're seeing the results. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been time able out, to block out. out the distractions. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's for so them to come out much more aggressive. Duncan Robinson, he's checked in for the Heat. And Noel kicks to Toppin. New York moving the ball around. It's Barrett on the wing, guarded by Robinson. The, the energy Barrett plays what puts defenders on their heels. He, he's really good at forcing the opposition's hand. The Knicks shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Heat leading by 22. Here's Westbrook. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Obi Toppin. The absolute fearlessness. It's why we love Westbrook. Just getting after it and drawing the contact. The Knicks making a switch here. Robinson's checked in. He makes one of two that time. It's interesting. No free throw attempts for him in the first half. He's finally pushing the action and reaping the reward. Quickly. Defended by none. Quickly. He can't get that one. And Miami the other way now. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. For New York, they've gone a lackluster three of nine from the field since halftime. Quickly defended by none. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Knicks shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Both shots good from the strike. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Westbrook against Burks. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they've maintained their focus. And New York making a change here. Gibson's checked in. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. Hard to believe that Westbrook is in his 30s. Elite burst. He's still one of the more feared players for opponents. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. You, you love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. Gibson passes to Barrett. From 10 feet out. Great body control and the long reach. Bam Adebayo was all over that shot. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Derek Rose has checked in for New York. 
The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. None against Rose. Shoots it up. Almost, but it rolls out. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. And as he gets older, we, we've seen Derrick Rose coming out of his shell a bit more. Early in his career, he was wary of strangers and the media. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. Westbrook against Barrett. Westbrook drives in. Great D that time from Gibson. And for the Knicks, they're shooting at 36%. They really seem out of sync offensively. Robinson with the block. And they're able to recover. Rose, that's good. Now, none. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game outside Westbrook. Outside Robinson. Pass to Autobio. Great D that time from Gibson. And here's the fast break. Rose leading the way. And it's denied. It's Westbrook with the drive. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. I'm happy I never had to guard Westbrook. I'll be honest. He might be the last guy I'd want to check in the NBA. He doesn't get the second one. And here's Gibson. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. And it's Bullock missing. And here is Deadman. Here's Hero. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. Yeah, now they are firing on all cylinders. That shot puts three more onto their lead as we head to the fourth. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. It's the Heat running away with it. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. With it, wonderful play. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Knox and Randall, they're the forwards. Peyton is out there with Reggie Bullock, and it's Gibson in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the five for New York right now. I mean, that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot. Outside, Green, and Belyza has it in the corner. And out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. No clue <laughs> where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Noel's checked in for Randall. New York shooting at 36%. They really seem out of sync offensively. Pass to Knox. Here's Noel. Feeds it to Bullock. Got it. Good job in the low post. Miami's gone 4-6 from outside the arc tonight. Here's Hero. Covered by Peyton. Count it. Good. That's an easy shot for Hero. Very comfortable facing up from any spot on the floor. Peyton looking it over. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And Noel throws it down. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley-oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Tipped away. Hero passes to Deadman. Reza. No good on the three. The Knicks have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. The heat shooting has been wild. 76%. That's just unbelievable. To the middle. They kick it out to Green. Can't hit from 12. The Knicks have gone a perfect 4 of 4 to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. Here's Knox. That one good for two. And, and it's getting late, guys, but all of a sudden they have hope when just a little while ago it looked like hope was lost. And the Heat call time here. 
And with a frequency. You know, some have said maybe limit fouls on three-pointers to only two free throws. Uh, that might eliminate some of the flopping on those long-range attempts. But I really feel like this is the evolution of the game, and that three it is going to be vital. The Heat making a switch here. Bam Adebayo is checked in for Dwayne Dedman. Jimmy Butler comes in for Bielitsa. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for Trevor Ariza. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Green. Noel trying to break loose. Yes, that goes in. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. The Heat leading by 23. There's the pass to Adebayo. DeMar DeRozan on the wing. He's covered by Noel, the 11-footer. The Knicks pull it in. Quickly. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. Oh, great ball movement there. Here's Westbrook. Pass to Autobio. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got his fifth assist in this one. Well, players now, Steve, seem to have a lot more power to demand a trade. Talk about what that does for the future of small market teams. You know, Kevin, I think that's to be honest. It makes it tougher for the small market teams. The one solution, I think, is if you have a team that is very close-knit, if you get the right superstar and he's happy, if you have a chance to maybe win a championship, that keeps those stars in place. Passes it to Autobio. Over Gibson. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. DeRozan for three. The Heat rebound. Outside Westbrook. Shot clock at five. Hero passes to Butler from the arc. It's rebounded by New York. Barrett's got four rebounds in this game. Jimmy Butler with the rebound. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over him. DeRozan passes to Hero. Now here's DeRozan. He's guarded by Bullock. Kicks to Westbrook. Pass to Hero. It's good from long range. Hero's got five points in the quarter. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Heat. They found a great rhythm from long range. Yeah, Kevin, every time they left a man open deep, it, he'd get a good shot at the basket. Didn't hesitate. And that aggression paid off. And the strong effort here will convert into what will be their 50th win on the season. And on the season, this is going to be their third win in four games against this team. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Russell Westbrook. You have to appreciate the unselfishness. He kept the ball moving, kept everyone involved. Really enjoyable to watch. 54 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Buries the long-range jumper. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Toppin with it. Bielitz is there. Toppin kicks to Payton. But they recover it. They need this. Doesn't go for him. And the Heat going the other way now. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Here's Green. Bialica passes to Ariza. A three ball. And again, Miami with the triple. Yeah, they've sucked the energy out of this arena. Tremendous effort on the road. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. An active passer with good awareness. When Neil Aquina spots the... Oh! Clearly knocked that one down with ease from that distance. Yeah. <laughs> and so Miami takes this one by a big margin. 
This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away.